Hey fellows, Nelson here from Southern Illinois University in Carbondale, here to give an update on the green roof and our upcoming design thinking workshop. So right now, because of COVID-19, Illinois is on lockdown. It's not too much fun being at home, but it's given us the opportunity of time. We're not able to work on the green roof even more, planning and getting all the little details in. And come up, coming up in April is our design thing workshop online, April 17th from 12.45 to 2.45 p.m. Central Standard Time. We're gonna bring together as many people as we can to think about different ideas from the green roof to a maker space to how we can save the plant with trees and how we can better build a community ecosystem. So right now the green roof project is on standstill. But at this moment, we're ready to implement the Thomas Irrigation System and the Raspberry Pi Data Acquisition Box. So right now, as you can see below, the data box is giving out live data on the temperature, pressure, and humidity of the space around it. And this is going to help us by being able to monitor the environment around the Pi on the green roof so that Atomic Irrigation System is able to open and close a solenoid valve, as we see up here. And now the question becomes, what happens when we're done with the roof? I tell you what, infinite possibilities. Yes, infinite possibilities. We're able to do, so, implement so many different ideas, so many different outreach and education possibilities from planting chili peppers to have chili cook-offs to inviting the high school clubs to come over and have their meetings to continued planning vegetation for vegetation related research. The possibilities are endless and only the future can tell how many different possibilities we're able to crank out of the roof. So moving forward now, SIU, we're going to be holding an de online design thinking workshop April 17th from 12.30 to 2.45 Central Standard Time. We were inspired by F.H. Salzburg's Alps Meetup back in February, and it made us become so inspired. We got filled with inspiration on the plane ride back that no one fell asleep. But we were talking, and we were innovating. And the second we stepped on campus, we made a decision. We said, we're going to make change happen now. April 17th, that's how we make change happen. We hosted a workshop back in February for the Green Roof. 15 students showed up and the project got elevated. So let's see what we can do in a two hour online conference call where we have four different workshops you can choose from. The first one being the green roof. The second one, the new makerspace popping up on campus. The third one, how we can save trees can save the planet. And the fourth one, looking at a community ecosystem and how we can better organize a system to help the community. So we're looking for you to come and pop out. Now it's the time to act. The human race has never been as innovative as we are at this current moment. And COVID-19 can either be an obstacle or an opportunity. People have blamed not exercising because of the lack of time but people are at home and still not exercising. I guess it wasn't the time holding them back. Right now, I personally want to hold this design thinking workshop in April and put everything I have for it onto the green roof and every project I can using my toolbox. Because now is the time to act. If you have the power to act, you have the power to change. And change can be powerful. If you go and inspire two people today, just two, and they go and fire three people the next day, and the trend continues, you can make change happen quite easily. So I ask you this, is COVID-19 an opportunity or is it a detriment? Because if you believe it's an opportunity, you're gonna go far and we can make change happen and make the world a better place.